We are pleased to announce the 1.0 release of the Play Billing Library. This library includes convenience classes as well as a wrapper for the billing service, allowing you to focus on implementing your app-specific logic. To use the library, begin by adding the following dependency in your build.gradle file. The next step is to create a billing client instance. You'll use this class for interactions with the in-app billing API, including listing available products, starting the billing flow for in-app products or subscriptions, opening the Google Play payment screen, getting users' purchases, and creating or modifying subscriptions. When creating your billing client instance, you'll need to set a purchases updated listener. This allows your app to receive updates from the in-app billing API, like transaction results, and updates from payments started in other devices. Here's the code for creating the billing client. Remember that it's required that you set a purchases updated listener. After you have successfully created the billing client instance, you're ready to start sending requests to the in-app billing API. It's just a few lines of code to get the details about a SKU or to start the purchase flow. For more details about billing client, purchases updated listener, and the full documentation, check out the Play Billing Library page. If you want to see a step-by-step -step guide about how to implement the Play Billing Library in your project, visit the training class. For details of how to use the Play Billing Library, including support for Android Wear and Android TV, check the updated version of the Trivial Jive V2 sample. We also prepared a blog post as a quick start guide. And don't forget to check out all the docs. Thanks for watching.